Today I'm at a lovely spot on the Charente River, which is uh, popular with people for picnics and swims and whatever, but it's also a really cool place for some interesting wildlife. Uh, so let's see what we can find. So this handsome creature is a bee wolf. It's a type of wasp that specializes in uh, attacking honeybees, which it uses to feed to its babies. It, <coughs> basically, the female wasp bee wolf digs a tunnel, usually in a sandy place, often by a river bank, like where we are here. And there she is madly diggering, digging away like a, like a dog. Chucking the sand grains back through her legs. And when she's dug a nice deep tunnel, she'll fly off and find a honeybee, paralyze it, and, uh, and then bring it back paralyzed, stuff it in her burrow, and uh, lay an egg on it. And then her offspring slowly eats the still living honeybee. Rather gruesome. Uh, let's get some more footage. Here yeah, we've got a bee wolf excavating a tunnel. Digging away. Oh, carrying out a big stone. Get it out of the way. There's a bee lying on her back, paralysed. She's been stung and is now helpless, poor thing. And there's the bee wolf. I've rather naughtily hidden her burrow, which is why we can see her in action. This is just a still I managed to snatch of the, the bee wolf carrying the poor honeybee tucked under her belly. She's trying to find the tunnel that I've hidden, which is just here. She's going to have to dig out the entrance again so she, before she can take the bee down. There she goes. Another one buzzing around. And there she is. I don't know why, there's a whole gang of paper wasps all drinking on the edge of the river here. Nowhere else, just all in this warm spot. Here's an adult female mantis just finishing off a meadow brown butterfly. It's pretty much eaten the body and it's just nibbling on the on the wings which aren't terribly nutritious but uh, I wouldn't imagine anyway but uh, it's obviously hungry. This is a pretty fat insect and if you can see its, its body but uh, she looks like she's right to lay some eggs pretty soon. These are sawfly larvae. They're yeah, gregarious uh, larvae, look rather caterpillar-like, but they turn into um, sawflies, which are related to wasps. They have this really cool defense where they all flick their tails together when they think they're being attacked. Here we are on the banks of the Chant River in central France. 
uh, and it's absolutely awash with dragonflies and damselflies which are really gorgeous insects I'll get you a good look at one in a minute you can see them all flipping about here's a male of a banded demoiselle which is one of the commonest species right here but isn't that just the most beautiful thing you ever saw they are absolutely magnificent I love these creatures just looks like a, a, a flying jewel or it's that lovely kind of ridiculous emerald green. Fantastic. The world isn't such a bad place, is it? And here is the girl of his dreams. Look at her. That's a female of the same species. Not perhaps quite as showy as the male, but she's still very, very beautiful, isn't she? You wouldn't kick her out of bed. Um, dragonflies and damselflies have the most bizarre way of mating, um, which will, I'll try and capture for you on the film, see what I can find. That you often see them flying around stuck together in pairs. Um, so let me just tell you about that because it's kind of fascinating in a weird sort of way. So you imagine you're a, a male dragonfly and so your head's the head and imagine that your body down to your legs is the, the abdomen of the, uh, the dragonfly. Then your um, penis would be um, just behind, below your head on your chest um, but your testes that produce sperm would be down near your ankles which is a really odd arrangement and then you have this paired claspers for mating which would be where your feet are um, so before the male can even think about mating with a female the first thing he has to do is bend his body double and deposit some sperm uh, from his testes next to his penis which is obviously a more useful place to have your sperm um, and then he has to try and grab a female uh, with those paired claspers down at the tip of his abdomen um, and he tries to grab her by the back of the neck the paired claspers kind of like um, uh, 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 grappling irons they've got spikes on them and they clamp around the female's neck if he gets it right um, and different species have different shaped claspers um, which help to prevent them mating with the wrong type of female because the claspers won't fit um, but if they grab them in the wrong place they can actually so sometimes if they grab the female by the head their, their claspers will actually puncture holes in her eyes it's really terribly pleasant poor female dragonflies and damselflies have a bit of a rough time of it anyway um, if he grabs her, he then hangs on to her, and you'll see them flying around in pairs, stuck together. Um, so if you see a pair like that, the male is the one kind of at the top and front, and he's the one holding on to the female by the back of the neck with his claspers. Here's a still I managed to catch of a, a different species paired up. So the male is the one at the top, and as you can see, he's, he's got his girl firmly by the scruff of the neck there. If, if she likes it, um, she then bends her body forward uh, so that her, the tip of her abdomen, where her reproductive bits are, comes into contact with the, the penis of the male and where he's uh, stored the sperm. Uh, and they form this, so they form this kind of a rather uh, heart-shaped um, wheel, it's called a mating wheel. And so here you go, the same pair as before, but you can see now the female has bent her abdomen forward so that her genitalia meet up with the, the male's penis and his packet of sperm and they can actually uh, properly copulate. Quite bizarre. It's slightly bizarre and grim, but he, he actually scrapes out her genital tract with his penis, which is bristly, um, a bit like a bottle brush to get rid of any sperm from a previous mating and then he uh, deposits his own uh, sperm 
And so there you have it. Life, death and sex on the riverbank. Hope you've enjoyed this um, badly edited selection of uh, wildlife. Um, uh, hopefully next year I'll be able to uh, capture some of the other weird and wonderful creatures that live in deepest, darkest France. If you want to know more about uh, insects and how important and cool and beautiful they are, then you might try reading some of my books, which uh, are all about the, the wonderful world of creepy crawlies. Thank you.